Hey, everybody. Just want to remind everybody about November 5th, 2024, the 30th anniversary of the commercialization of the internet. And there was a long period of time when it was, it was actually forbidden to do business on the internet. And uh, that was changed in 1989, but actually nothing happened in 1989 or 90 or 91 or 92 uh, or even 93. Uh, and that was the year I got involved. And then I did a bunch of things in 94 and 95 that uh, I've mentioned to people, but I never had a chance to go into the detail about it. And, you know, it's 30 years later and, you know, maybe you'd be interested. So I was originally going to write about 1,000, 2,000, maybe 3,000 words. Uh, just to make sure, you know, I got my recollections committed to paper. And I started writing. <laughs> and uh, this is what I ended up with. Um, it is 288 pages. It's 75,000 words. Um, it may be longer in book form. We're still trying to get it in book form. Uh, I, I started writing it in uh, August, and I thought, well, you know, I can do a 1,000 words standing on my head. Uh, if it goes to two or three, yeah, okay, it may take a little bit longer, but this will be easy to do. That's why I scheduled the uh, the big uh, event on November fifth. Well, we're still we're still proofreading and editing this thing. It's it's in good shape. I think we will make it on time, uh, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. I'm ninety nine point nine nine percent sure. I guess that'll be part of the suspense. But anyway, um, I did quite a bit in those years, and. Uh, now it's finally written down, right? It's finally documented. People that have known me for a long time may wonder, well, what did you actually do in San Francisco between 1993 and 1995? Well, you will see. Uh, and above and beyond uh, my personal story, there's two reasons why this book is something you're really going to want to read. Uh, number one, it is a really detailed account of uh, the things that happened that made it possible for us all to be in business. Uh, and one of the things the book demonstrates is that the World Wide Web we have today, uh, it may not have happened. Uh, there were a lot of things that could have derailed it. Uh, in fact, things that look like they might derail it uh, back in the early days. And uh, had that been derailed, uh, we would all be doing something else. So it might be interesting if you do things on the Internet to make money to find out why you're able to do things uh, that make money. And then the other thing about the book is it's packed with business lessons. Uh, you know, I started with zip with zero. I started with no reputation, uh, no contacts, no family members that were entrepreneurs, no business school. I'm glad I didn't. That would have been a waste of time. Um, you know, just none of that stuff. And that's where, that's where a lot of us start out. And so in this book, you'll see the twists and turns that one person took. And, and there's a lot of principles there. Like how do you get, how do you insert yourself into an industry? Um, how do you meet the, the big players? You know, how do you do projects with the big players? Uh, I did quite a bit of few things, which you'll see when you get the book um, back in those early years. It's totally independent of the stuff I did at the system. The system was like important um, and, and I enjoyed it. And uh, I think a lot of people benefited from it. I, we certainly changed uh, life for uh, entrepreneurs. Um, but Really, the big stuff I did was in 93 and 95, and it's all in this soon-to-be-published uh, book. Uh, words of advice, um, don't try to write a 75,000-page word book in uh, less than three months. Um, it's kind of hard. Um, what else? Don't, don't schedule a book that you're writing to have the editing process and the proofreading process. Uh, take place at the best time of year. Where I live, the best time of year is late September uh, to mid uh, October. It's just it's heaven. Um, the uh, who's those rich people down in New York? The Vanderbilts, right? In the ancient times, in the 19th century, the richest people on earth. They had a mansion just a couple of miles south of here uh, that they would occupy only for mid September uh, to mid October, right? Because the weather and they had the money, they could afford it. Um, and the weather is just like primo, you know. If if it was, I always tell my friends, if it was this way all year round, California would be empty. Uh, but it's not. It gets cold and it gets really hot. But um, anyway, schedule your indoor work for when the weather sucks. 
it's a lot it's a lot less um agonizing right i would look out the window the birds are singing the sun's shining 75 degrees low humidity and i'm sitting here in front of a computer screen so don't do that and don't try to write a 75 um thousand 75,000 yeah word 75,000 word book in just 3 months and if you're going to do that make sure you change everything else in your life so that you are not driving yourself nuts i didn't think i was writing a 75,000 page book. And I kept thinking, literally, this is no joke. You can ask the people around me. I kept saying, okay, this is the last chapter, guys. I'm, this is it. I'm going to close it out. It's done. And then I'd get to the end of the chapter and realize, yeah, but then there was that other thing and that other thing and that other thing. So I think we have 17 chapters here. So that happened literally 17 times. And finally, I said, okay, we're going to draw the line at 95. I'm going to do a little chapter where I talk about some of the stuff I did for the system. Um, but that's going to be its own chapter. I'm just going to bang that out really fast. Well, that that was another seven thousand words. But but it's over. It's done. It's finished. Written. Uh, it's being laid out right now. I'm just got to go over this thing and make sure I didn't make any crazy uh, mistakes. I was very careful on facts. I'm amazed at how many things uh, that people quote know about how the web came to be that are completely wrong. Or uh, well, the, the one they're completely wrong. Two, they're oversimplified. And three, they're missing uh, really interesting, important detail. And the bottom line for writing this book is, you know, if you live in the world and you want to get things done, you have to know how things get done, right? You can't just take things for granted. So this book tells you how the web went from zero in 93 to on the on the path to taking over the world starting in the summer of 1995 because if you know how things get done then you can make things done get then you can get things done too right doesn't it make sense uh it, you know I, I spent a lot of time i spent and spend still to this day a lot of time deconstructing the things that i see out in the world and i ask myself how did it, how did that happen and uh, if you start if you just stay at the surface You'll have a surface understanding, and then when you try to do something, you'll only have a surface surface understanding of how things work. You know, so I like to go deep into things. People that know me uh, know that, and um, that's why I put this book out for for my fellow uh, deep divers who want to understand the intricacies of how the web actually came to be. Uh, the technology, you know, that's not the issue. The, the issue was getting it to critical mass to the point that everybody said yes. And I'll leave you with this point. Uh, in 95, on November 5th, uh, 2000, uh, and excuse me, 94, 94, 1994, 2000, and okay, I'm going to look at the calendar here. Not 2000, guys, 1994. Okay, pull it back in, right? Um, November 5th, 1994. 30 years ago. It's so long ago, I can't, I can't even hardly remember uh, that it was in the 90s. But November 5th, 1994, I brought together the best and the brightest in San Francisco of the Digerati, uh, and we put a flag in the sand and said, we're going to commercialize this thing, come hell or high water. And one of the speakers was Mark Andreessen. And if you know the industry, you know that he co-developed the web browser, and he's the person that brought the web browser into commercial uh, existence. Without him, there would be no web browser. He had Jim Clark helped him, Jim Barksdale, some other people, but he was the spark plug. No spark plug, you're not going to turn your engine over. And so we're having this meeting. Think about this, November 5th, 1994, 1994, San Francisco, um, Pacific Bell, which is, was the big phone company, uh, liked what I was doing so much, they just gave me their, their corporate headquarter um, meeting room. It sat 125 people and uh, had a whole AV staff and everything. It was great. And so November 5th, 2000, got it wrong again. November 5th, 1994, Mark Andreessen standing up there and somebody raised their hand and said, Mark, I just saw a URL on a billboard. Nobody had ever seen anything like that yet. That was probably the first billboard that ever had a URL on it. And uh, Mark said, and I'm paraphrasing now, yeah, it's pretty strange. It's pretty weird. They're taking it seriously. And we all laughed. 
because it was never clear that this thing was going to really happen. We were all working on it so hard. And that's what the book's about. It's about all the people. I mentioned lots and lots of names. Some of them are famous, but a lot of them are not famous. All the people who pitched in and did critically important things so that we have a commercial web today. And we're declaring November 5th, International Internet Commercialization Day, right? We're gonna, Every year we're, on November 5th, we're going to celebrate the fact that we, and it was largely, well, I'll say this, it was all small, small business people that made it happen. Now, later Wall Street piled on and, and Silicon Valley piled on, but it was us that did it. And that's one of the things that comes through in this book. So if you've if you've already signed up for the notice about our big event, good, don't worry, you're going to get the notice. You know, what we're going to do is on November 5th, early, earlier in the morning, we're going to give you the link, right? And say, here's where we're all going to be. And um, where's the piece of paper? Who are we? We are me. We are Dan Kennedy. Uh, a lot of people don't realize a lot of internet guys went to Dan Kennedy for advice and still do. And he, he's one of the guys that uh, if, you're, if you have the budget, you would want to talk to him about what you're doing on the internet. Uh, who else? Another name you'd, you'd know, Ben Settle. Okay, Ben Settle, when I met him, was a hardworking, smart, ambitious, young copywriter. Uh, he happened to take my advanced internet marketing and copywriting course like in 2004. Um, and I actually mentored him very closely. Sometimes he tells the story, uh, a whole year worth of mentorship at a very critical part in his career. He's going to come on and talk. Who else are we going to get? Um, the great uh, Jonathan Mizell. And if you are, you really know our business, you know how important Jonathan was. And he's another guy. If I had an internet problem that I wanted to solve, he'd be the, one of the first people that I'd reach out to. Um, Drayton Bird, this guy was making a million a year in the 1960s from direct response. That was salary. He was he was so good. Uh, David Ogilvy, you should know the name David Ogilvy if you don't look it up. One of the great advertising guys of all time hired Drayton and paid him, started him at a million a year in 1960 dollars. 60s dollars. We're going to have Drayton on. We're going to have a brilliant guy named Caleb O'Dowd. He lived with um, uh, Gary. Uh, Halbert, for three years, he lived and was mentored and, you know, was supervised very closely by Gary Halbert for three years. He's one of the best internet marketers out there. Um, Doberman Dan, fantastic copywriter. Interestingly enough, also lived with Gary Halbert for, for a, a, a spell. Um, and then one of my, probably my most successful student, uh, you may know him, you may not know him. He doesn't really travel in internet circles at all. He just makes money. Uh, he's doing eight figures a year. He's got a piece of 70, over 70 different businesses. Um, he's got a 10,000 square foot training studio uh, or tra training camp or whatever you call it. Uh, uh, his hobby is, is training uh, UFC fighters and uh, running public classes. And that's a seven-figure-a-year business by itself. And then he has all this other business. He's one of the smartest guys I know. I'm, I'm blessed to have a student like this. I, I learn from him every time. That's Lloyd Irvin. So that's our lineup for November 5th. I hope you're signed up. If you're not, you're going to get, here's another chance to sign up. And the way it's going to work is all the people who sign up, they're going to get a notice first thing on the, the 5th of November. Now, people tell me something important is going on. There's another thing going on on November 5th. Uh, those those guys come and go. I'm, I'm talking, I'm joking, of course. I'm talking about the presidential election. Okay. If you've noticed, these guys come and go. All right. And they don't do anything for us. I don't care what side of the party they're on. They're all bad. Uh, some are worse than others. Some are not as bad as others. Um uh, we better take care of ourselves, And that's what these the system seminar was about. That's what this book is about. I want to show you again uh, when it comes out. No, no one's ever written a book like this. There's, just, there's nothing like it. Um, there's some, there, you know, there are, there's a book about Yahoo, you know, the early days. There's a book about Netscape, the early days. There's books about Google, the early days. Um you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but they're all little narrow. It's like, okay, here's how Netscape, what Netscape did. Here's what Yahoo did. You know, I knew Yahoo when it was two guys, right? I knew Netscape when it was Jim Clark, Mark Andreessen, five engineers, and a PR person, right? Um, 
and and there were a lot of other people in in 93 94 95 that made this thing happen so you're going to hear about it in the book uh the interviews are going to be the best internet marketing seminar of the century i mean i would put this up with the very best system seminars that i've ever done and uh, we're doing it as as a celebration of our industry. So uh, if you've signed up, great. Don't worry. Everything's handled. If you haven't signed up, my God, what are you doing with your life? Honestly. All right. See you November 5th.